anybody have a burning question about anything else? You like the gut flora thing. The gut flora thing. Yeah, um, because there's also like a lot of uh, vegan influencers right now going back to eating meat, and uh -huh. what all, most of them have in common is that they did like long periods of, of water fasting, and so like one theory that they have is that when you fast, you don't eat, so like the bacteria kind of... Wait a second, when you fast, you don't eat? Yeah. What? So, so I mean like the bacteria kind of travels upwards, not supposed to be in and overpopulates, and that's why you get like bloating and all these digestive issues. It's nonsense. Okay, and so how about like the fermented foods and all that kind of stuff? No need for them. Yeah, so that's not really a natural thing, or okay. Completely not a natural thing. Yeah. I mean, it's completely not a natural thing. Yeah. How many of you have ever bitten into a fermented piece of fruit? What did you do? Set it up. Exactly. When, when, where are we going to eat fermented food in nature? How's that going to happen? Okay, there's no, there's no interest. Your body doesn't want that. It's not natural at all. Okay, I don't, I don't know who you're talking about. I don't know who these people are. I don't know what they have in common. Um, you know, maybe what they have in common is they weren't really doing what they needed to do. A lot of people say they're doing one thing, but they're actually doing something else. So, you know, my guess is that these people are looking for excuses for making poor choices. That's what's happening. Um, but do you think when we don't eat over such a long period of time that the bacteria that is in there kind of dies because it doesn't get... No, they, they don't kind of die. They kind of live. Okay. The bad they, dies and the good flourishes. Well, there's no such thing as bad. The, there are no bad bacteria. So we're in our first location on Tanglewood Drive, which is where our name came from, in Bethesda, Maryland. And it was a neighborhood of big houses, um, wealthy area. And I, you know, I was looking for a big house so I could house as many people as possible. We had six bedrooms and five baths. And um, it was all big houses like that. And my neighbors, uh, twice a week, there was a garbage truck that came down the street. And twice a week, my neighbors would put four or five garbage cans at the end of their driveway. I'm, I'm just thinking to myself, what are these people consuming? How is it possible to generate so much garbage in three or four days? I couldn't imagine that. Literally, like twice, a, you know, every two weeks, I'd have half a trash can full of stuff. That was it. Um, and so I noticed something amazing. I'm glad you're all sitting down because this is amazing. On the days, when I didn't have a garbage can at the end of my driveway. The garbage truck didn't stop at my house. Isn't that incredible? You're not following me. No garbage can, they just drove right by. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> Here's what I took from this. Okay, what I learned from this was that garbage men don't create garbage. Garbage attracts garbage men, okay? Bacteria are nature's garbage men. Their job in your body is to consume dead and dying tissue. Do you think because you're fasting there's no dead and dying tissue? Did you know that every single minute of your life your body is retiring two million blood cells? Two million cells per minute. That's just blood. Epithelial cells. Billions. Okay, there's tons of cells that are being eliminated replaced all the time. These bacteria don't have any lack of food. They're not dying. So you mean like the bacteria in the stomach? I mean like all of the bacteria in your body are perfectly fine whether you eat or not. Okay. They don't need you to eat. They consume dead and dying tissue. Okay, do you have dead and dying tissue whether you're eating or not, yes or no? What do you think? Yeah. Probably. All the time. It doesn't stop. Your body's in the constant skin. process. Every week, 99% of your cells have been replaced. 99% of your cells. You've got roughly 70 trillion cells. That's 10 trillion cells per day are being replaced. That's food for bacteria. You, if you didn't have those bacteria in your body, by the way, you'd be in deep doo-doo, literally. 
okay? Your body would be filled with intermediate byproducts of cellular weight, metabolism, which is another way to say cell poop. All your cells are excreting, and if you didn't have these bacteria to help remove this stuff, you'd be drowning in your own cellular poop, okay? The, the, the bacteria have no problem. These, their explanations are nonsense. It's fantasy. These people don't have a clue what they're talking about. And I, I mean, you, you call them influencers. I don't know who the other ones are. Why are people watching Ravana? She's what, 28, 29 years old? Is she a nutritionist? No. Is she a health expert? No. She's a pretty girl. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna watch her. Oh, this is what she said. Who cares what she says? Why, why is she influencing you? I know, I was just thinking because there's another YouTuber who has, who's like, I don't know what exactly is, but he's like a doctor sort of thing, and his name's Goji Man on YouTube. No idea who he is. Okay, and he said that this entire condition is called SIBO. If you, do you know about that? Of course. Yeah. Small intestinal bacterial overgrowth. Yeah, exactly. Okay, but this doesn't happen from fasting. <laughs> That's absurd. Fasting balances your body. Okay, you know what this is? This is, this is another thing that people are latching onto, right? You know, 20 years ago, everyone was hypoglycemic. And then everyone was this, and everyone, like people are like, oh, I'm just searching for something. Oh, I think I've got SIBO. You know what? Forget all the labels. Give your body the chance to cleanse and heal and then make the right choices. That's all you have to do. It's not complicated. I'm not going to say it's easy. How many of you have found it easy to maintain an optimal diet out in the real world? Okay. Easy. Hasn't been not as bad as I thought it would. Yeah. It's actually easier to be fruitarian than it is to be Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I found exactly the same thing. If you're a vegan, you got to read all the labels on everything. Ta constantly be asking questions. I don't have to read the labels on my apple or banana. Okay? I mean, one label, you know, is it, is it GMO? Is it organic or not? That's the only label I care about. It's a lot easier. And, and I've been all over the world and have never, ever not been able to find food. Never. Anyone ever see Everything is Illuminated or read the book? No? Uh, Elijah Wood plays the, uh, the protagonist who's an author. It's his true, it's his true story. He, uh, this, this young Jewish American author goes to uh, the Ukraine to try to search for his family roots. His family came from the Ukraine, as did my family. And um, he goes over to the Ukraine by himself, and he's at this hotel, and he sits down to eat. He's got a, he's got a tour guide, this chauffeur, and he's driving him around. Um, and they, they sit, they're sitting in this, this hotel restaurant, and there's nothing on the menu. But he, he's a vegan. So he says, you know, isn't there anything? Can you bring me anything? They bring him a potato. Like, that's it. That's all they have for him. It doesn't have meat in it. It's just a potato. Um, you know, it's a lot easier as a raw vegan. Have you ever been anywhere where you haven't found some fruit or some, some leafy greens? I haven't. It's not always the highest quality. I once had a great, I had a grapefruit. I had part of a grapefruit. I couldn't eat the whole grapefruit or the rest of them in Sweden that I swear came out of someone's car battery. That's how acidic they were. But, you know, it's... But there, there's also... There's, there's other decent stuff. Um, it's, it's not hard to survive. For some people, it's more difficult. Okay? But it's simple. And this is what I want you to be really clear about. Right? Everyone's trying to complicate everything. Why? Think, think about the other species in nature. Okay? Okay, imagine for a second... Are there squirrels where you're from? Yeah. Yeah. So imagine 15 squirrels sitting around on the top of a tree, and one of them's telling the other ones what to eat. Can you picture that? Okay. 
What do you think? Is that happening anywhere in the animal kingdom? Every species instinctively knows what to eat. Okay, what are you attracted to in nature? Do you know it's been hypothesized that we can see color so that we can see fruit? That's why we have the ability to see color. So we can spot the red, yellow, orange fruits on the trees. Okay, what are you attracted to? D does your mouth water when a bunny rabbit hops by? Anybody? Is that your natural instinct? Of course not. Does anybody not pass a tree dripping with fruit and go, oh, that looks good? We all do that. That's our natural instinct. We are naturally attracted to fruit. Okay? There, there are people are, I mean, I've been a vegan for over 30 years. People are going to fall off. And they're going to make excuses for why, in most cases. Because they don't, most people don't want to take responsibility. Can I ask something with the bacteria thing? If, if you've had some sort of illness that you've had to go on antibiotics for yeah. time, then how do you, how do you rebuild your... Um... Well, fortunately, it's very difficult to completely destroy all the bacteria. It happens sometimes. Only those people who've completely destroyed all of their bacteria, uh, gut flora, benefit from probiotics. Well, they give them Transplants, that's one way that's one way yeah are you aware of this you can have someone else's poop stuck in your butt doesn't that sound like fun <laughs> you want to swap some poop what are you doing Saturday night say again they give it in capsule form yes I saw a documentary on that I could yeah. not believe it so oh. hmm, eat shit no yeah. thank you no, thank you. So, fortunately, very, very few people need to ever consider anything like that. Okay, there's no need. When you fast, what happens is the stuff that doesn't belong there starves and dies. And all the stuff that does belong there flourishes and balances itself. Okay, so, wait. Because within a few weeks, you're going to be feeling amazingly well. And then you'll know for yourself.